Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you the Brushify Natural Roads Pack. With this pack, I wanted to create a simple process for building roads in Unreal Engine 4. The pack contains 12 natural roads, all for use with the Unreal Engine spline system. All of the roads have got roughness controls that can be tweaked in the material. By tweaking the settings, we can get this really nice wet and muddy look. These road splines also have parallax occlusion mapping so you get some nice bumpy details. Parallax occlusion mapping is a lot cheaper than tessellation, so it's great that we can use it here. The road material itself also has a few handy features to help integrate it with the terrain. Here I'm tweaking the terrain blending feature. The pack also comes with the Brushify Landscape Auto material, which has the procedural grass and the ability to paint down many different biomes. Providing these generic shaders with every Brushify pack I think helps to make it a more well-rounded tool. So, now I'm going to dive into the process of creating a new road spline. I think I'm going to make an offshoot of our main road off here to the left. The first step is to go to the landscape panel and choose manage. Here you can choose edit splines from the list. If you hit control and then click on the terrain, this huge mountain icon will appear. With the icon already selected, Make sure you turn down the width and side and end fall off settings. As you can see, you can move the icon around with the translate handle. You can also adjust the width of the spline. So I'm just going to make the road a little bit narrower. I'm going to make the width 100. So there's the first end, and then I'm just going to click on the other end and make that 100 too. And then great. Now to expand the road, just select one of the ends and hit control and click. Same with the other one, control and click. And now you can see that the road is expanding. So every time I control click, we get more road. And it just snaps to the terrain, so pretty simple. So now we have the road placed, I'm just going to make sure that the end meets up with the other road. And just going to embed it in there. Okay, cool. The next step is going to be conforming the terrain to the spline. To do that, I'm going to select all of the segments in the road. Then where it says deform landscape to splines, click only selected. This will now deform the terrain to the road. So now the terrain should match the landscape spline pretty well. For this next step, we're going to apply our road mesh to the landscape spline. Simply select all the segments again and scroll down on the panel until you find spline meshes. Add a new spline mesh to the list. Then go to the content browser and go to Brushify Meshes Roads. Inside of Meshes you'll find the road plane. Drag and drop that onto the mesh slot. As you can see, it's working, but it's really clipping into the terrain. So next I'm going to apply our custom material. There are three different variations to choose from, dirt, mud and pebbles. I think I'm just going to go with one of the pebbles variations, but we'll see what looks good later. So the next issue that we can see is that the road is actually a little bit below the terrain, and it means we can't really see it. You can fix that by selecting all of the control points and using the mesh vertical offset. This is basically a control of where the mesh sits in vertical space. The Brushify Roads material has a fade on the side, which helps it blend into the terrain. It's also got object blending. So as you can see, as it clips into the terrain, it's actually got a nice feathered edge. Although these features really help, you'll still have to do some manual adjusting of your road spline and your terrain to get it looking correct. Here I'm just trying a few different road materials to see what could look cool. Ideally I want something that's going to blend well into the other road as well. So I just time lapse through this part because there are a lot of small adjustments that I'm making. I'm basically just working my way along the road spline, getting it to match up with the terrain. This is a slightly tedious business of just selecting control points and moving those around. Now I'm just going to give a little test of walking along this newly created path. So there are some small kinks that I can see. Here you can see the road is floating a little bit. So I'm just going to go in here and use the sculpt tool to fix that. These kind of little manual edits are definitely necessary still, um, unfortunately, but 
I think that the blending features of the material help to make this process a little bit easier. So the next thing we can do to help integrate the road into the terrain is paint the terrain with a few materials. Here I'm just going to be using the mud material to paint around the road. So you don't need a particularly... So you can turn down the tool strength a little bit because you don't need the brush to be that strong. And uh, yeah, then just start painting a bit around. And you can see this nicely feathers the edge off and it helps to kind of get rid of that hard line or hard color line uh, where it just goes from brown to green. It helps to kind of fade it a little bit into the terrain. So yeah, this is more of an artistic uh, choice at this point. I just prefer the road to look a little bit softer on the terrain. And every time I make a major change, I usually just jump in game and uh, I start to run around and just check everything looks okay from my player's perspective. And whenever I spot some little issue, like this looks a little bit too hard here, I just want to go in and smooth it out. Uh, so I just go and do that. And yeah, the Unreal Engine landscape tools uh, can be really useful here. So yeah. Of course, the other thing that's included with the pack is a number of props. You get wooden fences, stone walls, and also cliff rocks that you can place down on the sides of the roads. All of the props have a few different variations. For instance, this wooden fence has a curved version and a broken version, and you can just swap those out in the uh, static mesh panel. I think it's interesting how many. I think it's interesting how you can just reuse these assets in different ways and. Uh, you can come up with different ways of placing them and, and scaling them as well. So this is really down to, you know, just being a, a bit of an artist and having a, some sense of, you know, the composition of, you know, where do you put these objects and how would you lay this out? Of course, you know, the best thing to do would be to use a reference or some sort of photo reference uh, of an area and, you know, try and go with that. I'm also jumping into the game a lot with the player and just seeing how it feels for the player to run through. I've also got these handy little signposts, which uh, uh, I've got two different, sorry, I've got three different variations for um, for the various different uh, directions. So you've got one, two, or three directions that you can uh, switch between. And you've also got, of course, the brushify cliff rocks, um, which you can use to uh, just create some nice, like natural. Uh, cliffs and rock formations around the roads as well. Got this big one here. And uh, yeah, you can just kind of use that to slot in. Uh, I've also got a cliffs pack with uh, some more detailed photogrammetry cliffs. Um, they're much bigger cliff pieces. And uh, yeah, you should check that out if you're, uh, if you're really inter interested in getting cliffs. So I'm just going to have a last little run around the scene in first person this time and just check the space and see how everything feels. Also notice that everything has collisions, so you don't need to worry about that. So that's the Brushify Natural Roads pack, and that's how I would approach a creation of roads in Unreal Engine. If you have any questions for me, leave them down in the comments below, or visit brushify.io and fill out the contact box. Cheers guys!